Right now, excitement is starting to ramp up over at Crane's Roost Park in Altamont Springs. They had a lot of thunder and lightning out there earlier, but as you can see, big crowds still out there for the Red Hot and Boom celebration. Glad it's working out. This week's 4th of July celebrations will have an extra level of security in place. Yes, yeah, state agents are telling News 6 anti-terrorism teams are sharing intelligence to get results and keep people safe. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld reports. News 6 has learned that the FDLE's counterterrorism squads have stepped up security measures for 4th of July events across Central Florida. We're not taking the holiday off. FDLE special agent in charge, Danny Banks. And I don't hide the fact that our counterterrorism squad, our intelligence analysts, and our use of CFIX will be in full force over the July 4th week. Banks says the week long alert is necessary given recent terrorist attacks from Orlando to London. Move back! Sensitive intelligence being developed behind these doors is constantly updated. The intel is reviewed, potential soft targets analyzed. What makes one more special or more of a target than another? Only a terrorist could dictate that. We want people to feel safe. We want people to celebrate. We don't want people to hide inside and be fearful of going outside. Banks says the FDLE will be working closely with CFIX, the Central Florida Intelligence Exchange. They'll be sharing key information. Many times, he says, the leads are initiated by people who see something that just seems off. The biggest point is if we let evil influence what we do in our lives, then evil wins. Agent Banks telling me the key here is if you see something, say something. We checked in with CFIX Director Captain Al Rollins today. He texted me saying it will be business as usual. In other words, they'll be watching. From the newsroom, Mike Holfeld, News 6.